The Rangers and the Turtles are locked in combat, but should they be fighting in the first place? Welcome to my YouTube channel where we talk about comic books and stuff and stuff. And today we're returning to Mighty Morphe Power Rangers X TMNT, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. If you're lost in any way, go check out the previous video before this one. The link will be placed in the description below. Now let's get into it. Like I said, the Rangers and the Turtles were fighting, and they were fighting for real, with each team member going for the other team's head. But this is when we see Leonardo's leadership come into play, because he was no fool. He knew something was off. These guys were considered to be heroes, so everyone enough. Let's talk this out. But before they could have a conversation, the helicopters were here. Not because of their fight, no, but because there was a break-in. And this is when we're introduced to April O'Neil, the news reporter covering this story. She tried her best not to mention the turtles, just to hide their identity. W April O'Neil in the chat. While all this was going on, our boy Tommy went back to base. And by base, I mean Shredder's headquarters in the Technodrome. He was kneeling, telling his master, I am back and I brought what you requested, my master. Shredder collected it saying, I am proud. And Tommy said, no words are needed, my master, because he was here to serve. Back with the Rangers, though, a choice was made between themselves to reveal their identities. But there was no time to have a conversation in the middle of the streets. So the turtle said, all right, come with us. We're taking you to our hideout, our home. A secret for a secret and we see that they actually live in the sewers but we knew that the rangers didn't they didn't expect the smell while introductions were being made april came through to introduce herself but the thing is no one was focused on april they were all focused on the gigantic rat sitting in the corner but master splinter just looked at them and said welcome do you want to have a seat so we could talk as he laid down tea to talk, we see the whole reason why Tommy is with Shredder in the first place. He snatched a young boy, and it is revealed that this young boy was his cousin, his actual blood cousin. Apparently, his stepfather had called Tommy because he was running with a bad crowd, and it was a really bad crowd. The Foot Clan? I mean, come on. But he didn't want to listen, but Tommy made the biggest mistake he could ever do as a hero, turning your back to a supposed ally because as soon as he turned he was shot to the ground standing beside his cousin was the shredder himself this was all his plan and his plan was a success while that was going down the rangers and the team were starting to bond kimberly and april O'Neil were trying to track the foot clan's movement while donatello and billy were both having conversations about science they enjoy talking about it, especially the fact that Donatello has built everything himself while Billy has seen ridiculous technology from around the galaxy. But thankfully, April's hustle bore fruit. They got the location of the base of the foot and the Rangers and the team pulled up. And it was not even a match because these guys were already dangerous on separate teams. Working together, they were unstoppable. Yellow Ranger was shocked. Obviously, she didn't think they were the only ones fighting and trying to save the world, but it was still shocking to see. Raphael made it clear that we have saved the world a multitude of times, but we never are seen. We are ninjas. While they both had serious conversations, Michelangelo and the Black Rangers just spoke about food. Literally, their best food. They had a conversation about it mid-battle. <laughs> Everyone was having fun at this team-up, but Jason and Leonardo had to face Karai, and Karai was no joke. She was trained in a multitude of fighting style, but the thing is, so was Jason and Leo. This was a martial arts match, and Karai shouted, who am I splitting in half first? But before she could even fight, thunk, something was dropped on her head. She was knocked out by the Yellow Ranger herself, because there was no time for all of this. They had to find their friend. But Karai was loyal to a fault. She asked the question, if your friend had so many powerful friends, why did he go alone? I wish I could tell you, but I cannot. I am a foot client through and through. I am loyal. God, I love Karai. Meanwhile, Tommy Oliver had finally woken up from his slumber in a cage. Standing before him was his master, Shredder. He tried to beg him, 
But Shredder revealed that he knows he's the Power Ranger. And Tommy revealed, if you know I'm the Power Ranger, you would know that locking me in a cage was the dumbest thing ever. As soon as he said that, he tried to transform and he was successful. But the thing is, Shredder wanted this all this time. He had a box with the ability to sap a ranger's ability. He sapped Tommy's abilities and picked up his power coin. And at that moment, that surge of energy was felt by Rita Repulsa herself. She pulled up because no one takes her powers. Absolutely no one. She saw Bebop and Rocksteady and was like, are you one of mine? But they made it clear they weren't. Shredder tried to introduce himself. Shredder tried to talk, but Rita didn't care. Who the hell are you? Return my powers now. And Shredder was not going to give up no power. Using the power coin, he said the words and he was transformed, morphed into his new form. The Green Shredder Ranger. And Shredder was already on pick human form with all skills in martial arts. This suit just boosted his abilities. But Rita was not scared in the slightest, not even close. She launched an attack. The throne room instantly turned to a battlefield with Rita vs Shredder and Goldar vs Rocksteady. It was epic, especially because Rita was going ape shit on Shredder. Everyone was shocked. These two were powerful, but the Shredder really wanted Rita on his side. So he stood down and said, why don't we both work together and when this is done, we could settle our differences. And Rita agreed, stopping. Now, two of the most dangerous people in this known galaxy had joined forces. The Rangers were in trouble, but they didn't know it yet. Tommy, on the other hand, Tommy was disrespecting his cousin. He was actually roasting him from head to toe. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm your family and you betray me for the Foot Clan? His cousin looks to him and said, yes, that's right. You should have never left me. This is all your fault. But Tommy's like, bruh, I got adopted. Was I meant to say no? The hell is wrong with you? I mean, I've never seen an individual so dumb, especially because they put him on cage duty. Anyways, the turtles and the rangers were having fun. Billy was asking Master Splinter of his origins and Master Splinter was telling him Raphael was training with Trini and she made it clear that she knows why he's angry because he has saved the world multiple times and everyone just looks at him as a monster. That can affect anybody. But just before they could continue bonding, they got a call from Zordon. Apparently, Tommy had morphed. They knew his location so they set out. They didn't take the turtles because this was their man's. So they went, morphing as a precaution because they don't know what to expect. And when they got there, they saw the Green Ranger, but it wasn't Tommy. Blasting them with this newfound energy, the Pink Ranger and the Yellow Ranger got depowered. The boys came forth and he did the same to them. Now they were powerless. Now they were at his mercy and the Shredder has no mercy. He attacked over and over. Zordon tried to make communications, but they were out of reach. The Shredder, on the other hand, was having the time of his life. He was stronger. His muscles felt like steel. You kids do not deserve this power. Your skills are formidable. I'll give you that, but not enough. He brought out the dagger ready to finish it, but Casey came through. Casey smacked him sharp in his head, causing him to crash on the floor. Even the Shredder can be blindsided, but not even a second later, KC was on the floor next to the Black Ranger. Shredder was triumphant. He had won and he was not alone. He wanted the rest of their power coins, but the Rangers were never going to give it up. They ran and he made an announcement. You have till sunrise to bring me all your coins or your friend dies. That is a promise. With his communicator, he told Rita, your Rangers have been depowered launch your attack and she did the world was ending right before their eyes and they were powerless to do anything Zordon did a quick scan back at the lair and found that the morphers were actually still good it's just that their dna's were locked so the morphers will agree for anyone else but the rangers and billy realized what that meant if you need people to morph and be heroes why not use heroes that have been under our noses for the longest why not use the teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and April O'Neil. <laughs> That's right. They are going to morph into Power Rangers.